What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to buy items with the currency. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so first of all, you will need to see my currency tutorial, which I will link in the description. And basically, you'll be able to have your own, you know, currency in the top corner, and we can press any key and add or subtract an amount, okay? So, check that out first. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and create a new blueprint and this will be our let's say seller trader how we want to call it but basically it will be a character as you put this um trader so let's open this up and we are just gonna go ahead and apply a simple mesh into it so for example many in the mesh story many we go simple many let's put this minus 89 so it's in the ground and then minus 90 so it's in the current uh, orientation Let's also go ahead and put in the app money so it has the idle animation and with that we are good to go so now on here we're gonna delete all the things that we don't need i'm gonna create a new custom event which will be open panel or widget i think which will be a bit better so when we interact with this trader he will open this widget so we're gonna go ahead and create a widget of course we haven't created any widget so let's go ahead, go ahead and do so so you just go into the content browser right click user interface and let's create a widget blueprint. Let's create a user widget. It's gonna be WB underscore. And now we can place our name, which in this case will be like uh, buy, um, buy item, whatever. And let's go ahead and add a canvas into the front of the palette so we can start placing things. And let's go ahead and just get this image, drag it, open the anchors, and then holding control, let's click this uh, button here. And this will just extend this to the whole screen. So now I can just change a bit the color, the alpha, and we have our background. So let's also do it with the blur because I, I think it looks pretty cool. So just blur, open this, hold control, press this one. So now it's to the whole screen and put the strength to be like 10. So that's great. So this will be basically our background. And we can disable its variable because we don't need that for our background. Great, so with that said, we're gonna go ahead and put a button here in the middle of the screen. So let me just uh, drag it into the hierarchy like this. And I can select it, put it here. Let's put the anchor without, this time, don't hold control, get this time, just click it. And now we can put the position of X and Y in zero, but put the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5. So now it's perfectly in the center. I'm gonna change the size to be like 300 and 150. So now we have this button, we can make it a bit, a bit uh, maybe like 450. And we can put a text here, and this text, let's say that it will say it like buy item. So right now I'm gonna do it like a generic universal item, um, but you can go ahead and start adding your items. Why it doesn't, there you go, uh, in the future. So font, let's make it a bit bigger, and the button, we're gonna change a bit the color and opacity um, of the style and the normal here let's go ahead and put it darker there we go and basically we can buy now our item which is exactly what we want so now in here we can select that uh what is it by item widget and now we can just add it into the viewport but first of all before adding it into the viewport let's right click and promote this to a variable so we have this state and this will be the buy item widget out that symbol at the end and now we can just plug this here and plug this here and now we need to plug this here too and of course we have to interact with this so what we're going to do is in the here in the trader we're going to create a sphere collision this will be our trigger so if our player is inside of this area he will be able to interact with this guy over here so let's make it bigger maybe like 150 and let's make sure that this set as overlap all dynamic so now what we can do is go into our third person character blueprint and now on here we're gonna go down and when we click the e key for example let's go ahead and search it we're gonna go ahead and make a for each loop okay so we're gonna be looping through all the items in an array this array will be the get overlapping actors because we will be overlapping with this guy over here so now we can just go ahead and cast to this guy which is the trader and now from there we can go ahead and do the uh, open widget I think it was Let's see yeah open widget 
and we can basically interact with him. So let's test that out. Of course, we need to place it in the scene, uh, not third person, sorry, the trader. Let's go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees. Display, we go here, press E, and now we can see that we have the buy item icon and everything. Now let's go ahead and also do another thing. Let's go back into the trader, and in here, let's get right click, get player controller, and on here, we're gonna say set show mouse cursor, and this will be to true as we want to interact with the bottom. And also, let's set the mode so the input mode to be game and UI. And we can snap here a widget to be this one. And with that, you can see that we will have the mouse and everything set, and we can click the button. Great, as you can see now, we have the our currency hidden. So, what we can do is simply just add it on here too, like over them. So I can just go ahead and get a text and drag it outside. So inside the canvas panel, making this part here, position next. Actually, you know what? Better to do is like just copy and paste. So I can just go into the indicator. As you didn't know, literally you can just go ahead and select everything. Control C, go here, canvas panel, Control B, and it will be there. And you can see this a bit uh, moved out. This is because of the anchors and stuff. So just in alignment, Pull this 2.1 uh, and then the same with the text. Let's put alignment of 1. Well, maybe in here this has to be a bit more. Let's put it as 1.4 around there. And then the icon, let's put the line to be here. So basically, we just move a bit the UI here and I will have it overlapping. So now this text we can do exactly the same create a new binding. And I can go ahead and just copy this one here, which is gonna get again the currency from the player so we'll do exactly the same as we were doing with the other indicator but also in this widget so now we will be able to go here open this guy up and now we can see the uh, items and you can see it's not visible and this is because we go here and it's plugged that there so i forgot to plug one thing but now it does appear Great, so now we need to buy the item. So what we're going to do is go into this widget and select this button and we can go and select the unclicked. So when we click this button, we're going to do something. In this case, what we want to do is go into the third person character blueprint and call the remove currency because we want to take away something. So we're going to go ahead and you say get player character and I cast to the third person character. So we have information and we can now call the remove currency and this time you will put the price so in this case let's make a variable price and you here put whatever price you want let's compile let's put like for example by default uh, 79.99 <laughs> I don't know whatever just plug that price there so now we'll be taking away that price when we click so I can go ahead and test that go here you can see you have this there you go taking away the price so everything We'll go ahead and work and of course now you should be able to get that item so in our third person character we'll have another custom event which will be get item and this will be receiving an input and for now gonna make it simple this item will just be a string so basically some text and then when i receive it i'm just gonna go ahead and print it of course you can go deeper and create an inventory system and add that item to the inventory system. I have lots of tutorials on that, so check them out, especially my RPG series. I cover all that there, so check that out. But basically here, uh, back in the buy item, after this, you would also then add item or whatever I named it. I don't even know how I named this. Get item, okay. Uh, so here, get item. And we'll play something as, I don't know, you know, uh, chair. <laughs> we we bought a chair. Whatever we want, right? And now we can go here, press this button, chair. We remove the currency, and that's it. So that's it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. The four files will be available on my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all said, bye bye.